Welcome back. I'm Jake with Sprouting Spoons, and today we're making fried plantains with a avocado chimichurri sauce. Today we will be using one quarter cup of cilantro, a quarter cup of basil, three cloves of garlic, a quarter of an onion, the juice of two limes, a jalapeno, one half of an avocado, and plantains. We will be using the green plantain instead of the more ripe yellow or black plantains. Plantains are an excellent source of vitamins A, C, and they also contain a lot of fiber. So we've blended all of our uh, cilantro, and basil, and other ingredients together without the lime juice, um, just until it's a little chunky. And then we're going to add in the juice of two limes. I'm hand squeezing it. However, you could use any sort of reamer that you would like. This is just to add a little tartness and to get it to blend together a little nicer. And blend together one more time. So we took all of our sauce ingredients, which is everything but the plantains that I showed you earlier, and we just threw them in our food processor and blended them together until they were a nice uh, thicker paste, and then we seasoned it with salt and pepper. Awesome. Then we'll just go ahead and place it in a, a small container, like a bowl, the bowl here, and then we'll place it in the refrigerator just to keep it nice and cold until we're done with our plantains. If you find that it's going to be a little uh, too hot for you, or you already know that you're a little sensitive to heat, I might recommend only using half of the jalapeno. So today we'll be using our green plantains for this uh, application because they're much starchier and they'll hold together, whereas the yellow plantain is sweeter and uh, has a tendency to be a little bit mushier. A plantain, as you can tell, looks like a banana, however, uh, they are much more starchy like a, a potato. So you're going to start by cutting off both ends of our plantains, like so, and they're fairly easy to slice. Uh, however, the, the skins are a little bit tougher, so what you do is you take a small knife and you just slice through the skin. You don't want to go super deep, otherwise the plantain might fall apart. Then you can make another little slice a little ways away, and hopefully that'll give you enough space to peel it off. Once the peel starts coming off, it's a little bit easier. That uh, first piece, just like a uh, pie, is a little bit difficult. Once you have the skin removed, we're going to cut them into about three quarter inch pieces. All right, so for the next step, we're going to be frying our plantains for the first of two times. So you'll need for this process a pan of hot oil, and by hot I mean around 300 degrees, a pair of tongs, your sliced plantains, and a plate that's uh, got a lot of paper towels on it to absorb all the excess oil. And at that step, you're going to take all of your little plantain medallions and you're going to 
carefully, gently place them in your hot oil and let them simmer for a little bit. You're going to wait until they're golden brown and then you'll take them out of the oil. What you'll want to do though is you're going to want to move them just a little bit to keep them from sticking to the bottom of the pan or to each other. And occasionally you might need to flip them depending on how much oil you have in your pan. After about two to four minutes, your plantains will be golden brown and are ready to come out of the oil. And you want to place them on a paper towel lined plate uh, for all that extra oil to absorb into the paper towel. You'll then let them cool for about two to three minutes until they're safe to touch and then you will uh, crush them with a plate or the back of a, a cup. To smash our plantains, we're going to take the golden brown plantain that we just cooled down a little bit and sandwich it between a piece of parchment or wax paper and then take a flat object like a plate or measuring cup or even a, a glass and press down gently upon it and then remove and you'll have a nice little medallion of a lovely fluffy plantain. And you're going to repeat the process until you're all done. Alrighty, once you have all of your plantains uh, nice and squished, you're going to reheat your oil a little bit hotter this time to about 375 degrees. Then you're going to take the smashed plantain and refry it just until it's nice and crispy, which should take about a minute or two. Once they come out of the oil, you're going to want to very uh, quickly put a little bit of salt on them. That way the salt sticks, uh, just like a french fry. You're going to probably need to do this in batches. Um, that way you don't overwhelm your pan and everything getting nice and crispy all at once. Then when they come out, you do want to put them back on your paper towel so you're not just letting them sit in a bunch of grease. Once they're all drained and a little bit cool, you can uh, take them and put them on your plate because they're all good to go. And it doesn't hurt to just snag one real quick and give it a try. Thanks for watching.